Treating the human body takes more than just science. It takes skill. Choose Pikeville Medical Center. Quality orthopedic care, hometown touch. What's been the most gratifying part of, of being the head coach of this program? Oh my goodness. Uh, there's so many there's so many things you gotta thank God and thank the Lord above how blessed you are to be in this spot right here when um, the, the field and the facility that we have and the people that we have to work with and not to mention that the, uh, the great student athletes that I've had over these past 25, 30 years in all sports. What do, what do you hope most of all that your players take away from what you've been able to teach them? Well, we kind of talked a little bit about that um, at the end of the Johnson Central game. You know, I, I had, I was loaded up with some really good talent, but uh, uh, fairly young. I mean, we had uh, 21 people on the roster and out of those 21, 17 were sophomore and below. Yeah. So uh, really, we did some really good things with, with a young bunch that is that talented. And I guess to answer your question, if the, I can instill in them life lessons that would pertain to the game of baseball, like work ethics, work hard, show up on time, be here, don't have excuse for missing, and ask questions and practice, practice, practice it on whatever aspect that you need to. Those kind of things would carry over into, into their life. What advice would you give for the guy coming in to take over this program? And is there anything you could say to him or would like to say to him about carrying on such a great tradition at Pikeville? I guess, I guess the advice that I would give would be uh, come in here and, and feel feel blessed to be to work with the, such great people at, at Pipeville Independent School System as, as he's going to find out uh, that's true and to have the amazing facilities and, and you can look around and see what kind of things are coming mm -hmm. even as at this point and be be your own man be your own coach and uh, stick to your guns and, and let, let those let those kids fight for jobs.